Welcome back. Uh, previously, we started questing in this big city. What is it called again? <laughs> uh, Novigrad? And we were looking for Siri. But to find Siri, we also need to find Dandelion because they had some kind of an interaction. Um, so right now we have to, we are on this quest where we have to question Reuven about Dandelion's disappearance without raising any suspicions. So we are here now and we'll go in and talk to them. Welcome to my apology video. What is up you guys? Oh. Anybody there? Open up. <laughs> What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. I Need just, to talk to the owner. Just crash the door. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters as he's terribly busy. Busy with what? Busy with what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well, I shall try. <laughs> wait. <laughs> that was amazing. Siki Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. He looks like Mrs. Puff from Spongebob. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Hi, Herbal. Welcome. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. Oh my god, imagine going into someone's like house and then just stealing plants. Do I need to go here or get undressed? Splendid. <laughs> hey ladies. Awaits in the next room. Hi, there are ladies. You were right. He doesn't blush. Oh my goodness. I was made for loving. And Junior cut off his hand, then ordered him mm. to shove it up the corpse's ass. And then he sent the body back, offering a hand extended in peace. <laughs> Clear that you've not seen Reuben. Gudrun calls it overall. Time. And this is a simple matter. Poor son got an invite. Wait. Easy, Cleaver. Poor son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when and only when all of us say aye. Reuven, your guest. Oh boy, we are with some criminals. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiping loop. How many Who scars? The fuck are you? <laughs> What's your problem? Witcher. I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. How does he know what this? What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. Just a few? There's a whole arsenal. Since they're enhanced. Oh, okay, okay. Let's go. I hope this towel is hanging on to its life because. <laughs> First ever Barney with my prick hanging out. 
Why do they have clown makeup? I mean, rightfully so, honestly. It's a brand. How long did it last for five seconds? Clenching toe between his cheeks. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. Oh my god. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse and scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked? Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Uh. I don't believe I know your friends. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam, you know? But then, who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. Long time no see. The Jukstra. How are you, Reuven? Disappeared for a few years there, only to reappear here in Novigrad? Oh, I've been here, there. Spent some time in Zeracania, matter of fact. Hmm. What did you do in the desert? Sought oneness with nature. Magical place, really. But I missed civilization, so I'm back. Aim to plant roots in Novigrad, become a respected citizen. And who knows, someday, maybe even a town councillor. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. I love his tattoos. What do you want with him? <laughs> you gotta help me find someone. Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds. A chat session. Horse sons out look together. At, look and at he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise. While I send my boys to horse sons' hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find horse, son? Find me first. He's so angry. Oh, I don't like Gwent. Uh, like, I don't like card games, so I just ignore Gwent. Uh, so where will I find uh, Junior? Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it then. I'll uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk in private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Oh, they have a history. That, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. Was I the one sorry. who hurt him or something? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, oh. Reuben. 
Poor no, thing. <laughs> Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. It was in the if way. Not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. <laughs> Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Hmm. Your colleagues um, aware of your past? Your partner's aware of your past? They know your Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell <laughs> Hierarch Hemelfart? His ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. How do I find the arena? Casino? Where is that? Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch We're going to play some slots. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. How do I find the arena? Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits, endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Ew, Junior poverty. loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. Stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Mm, you're in contact with... Uh... Radovid? You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> See, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. Hmm. Wanna get one of your favorites? It's such a good game. Philip Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I have any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Oh my god. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. From master spy to master criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Underground. Yeah. 
Except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself. And thus far, it's been going rather well. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. Hmm, why so risible? Seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, what with hot flushes and violent mood swings? Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? Yes, you moron. I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? <laughs> you got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah. Might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. Establish what happened to him. Ooh. You'll pay me on top of that, right? I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? Who told you? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-oh. <laughs> who told you? What do you mean, who? Emma did. Ha <laughs> ha. I could never reveal my sources to you or anyone else. It would be fucking unprofessional. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? Yes, sir. Now I regret saying this. He just roasted me. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. No, I have not been playing Gwent. I don't like uh, card games, so I just ignore it. What? What in Tomb Raider is this? Be so kind as to follow me. Hey Wild, welcome. Or I could just jump in. Okay, what is this quest? Hold on. Uh, this has to be a side. Which quest this is? I guess we can maybe like update it. Oh, Bart! Not again, Bart. Um, I mean, uh, hello. Bart, stop that now! Bart, man, Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. But her. Ended up loving it. Maybe I should try but it. Less thinky. But less thinky. But sadler. Wait, that... I feel so bad for this little thing. What? Where'd you get the troll? 
from Zericania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling? I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Siggy bad take. Good Siggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun go! Someone Translating into did a common, heist! Someone fucking made up with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Why don't you handle this? This is some prison break stuff. World. What do you need a witcher for? Uh, the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. But sorry. But job that good. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd really? be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. We're a detective again. Any witnesses? I guess Barth is a witness. Happened. Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. Maybe co-owners are the thieves. Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. Hmm. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, God. Oh, Bart, it's okay. We will find it. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh, no. Boom. Hole. But look, won't go. But look, no. Only sleep. Mm. Bad shrooms head fall. He couldn't chase them because the mushrooms made him dizzy or something. Yeah, they look bad mushrooms. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But but troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. No, Where don't be mean to ah, him. Mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. I thought he planted them. Bart, you see them? Or protection. Bart, through hole. Once see boom got what breathe shroom sleep go Jorfun gone Maybe they like threw the, the mushroom bombs at him or something? He fell asleep and then they stole everything. Stiff up a lip. Yeah, that's boom what it is. Can you elaborate? Like. I'll 
operate. He's so Explosion. cute. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots <laughs> my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonce. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped Fonz and ran like hell. Hmm. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis, either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. He's so sassy. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula, too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life. Here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll it's be nice. upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Can I talk to... Can I talk to Bart? Damn to hey, Bart. What kind of animal have you... Minute. But no minute, God. But rocks, God. Rocks want... I mean a minute to talk. <laughs> you mean but nice. No. <laughs> One more time. Can we talk? Siggy you like. Talk me with. Notice anything strange before the break in? Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? Suspicious. But no understand. Anything... Something not normal. Yes. Something strange. Maybe you saw, felt, heard something. Yeah. Yeah. But here. Uh, like uh, a piece. His. Was hissing like a snake? What kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No. A piece other. Not animal or that. Right. So, like what? Like... Uh, rock? Yeah, like before it explodes. Mm -hmm. So, it was probably some kind of a bomb which had the little, like, you know, thing on it and it's like... Tss, and then it blows up. The hissing. Where did it come from? But... Yeah, a fuse, yeah. Here. Illar tree. What? Where? Where? But turned it on. Okay, where he was pooping? That that's where the hissing was. <laughs> All right, let's change the subject. Good. But time got. Chorfon go. But God, now nothing. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Well, all right then. <laughs> Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. Siggy cared. So Siggy part. is Dextra? He locked you up, alone, underground. Don't get bored down here. Not much to do. When, but, not much do. But, think. Lord. Same. <laughs> About what? What about, if you don't mind my asking? Rocks. Rocks? Rocks interesting. 
I love him. He's so cute. So long. Long. Oh, okay. Long. Long. New tattoo incoming of just Bart. Bart should be the main character. Yeah, no, I have I have only met this one. Is he gonna get angry if I loot anything? Can you romance Bart? <laughs> Pipe's great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Thank Last you, man. From the wall. Fucked. Shouldn't go any further without taking that hand out. <sighs> oh, okay, okay. Harder to breathe. Oh, and I thought witchers' potions were vile. Fine grading. Couldn't push much through that. Oh, that's what it was over there too. So this is, I guess, this is where they put the explosive, maybe. Fine grading. Couldn't push much through that. Yes, Didi. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide yes. open. Yes, I will Wall play stalker. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now, why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. Hmm. Follow the current. Um, I've never played Stalker games, but I really love this, like, post-apocalyptic Soviet aesthetic. <laughs> like, Metro. So, I, I, and as far as I know, um, Stalker is kind of like... Metro, right? Definitely came through here. You want should be fun. Another trinket. Arrow. It shows me that there are enemies here, but there's nothing. It's so weird. Hmm. Bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and... Caramel? That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. A weird combination. Can we... Bob. No, nothing else. I thought I could ask him something. Oh. This place looks so cozy. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Are 
Are you going to be playing it, Riri? On one of the thieves' corpses? Found a second corpse. One of the thieves. Threw up the antidote, just like your man Fonts. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates. Left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, I know the one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah. A cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. Hmm. And since boats don't leave trails, yeah, I get it. it amounts to fuck all. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Hmm. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. This is drain pipes kind of are only genius. Promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atten keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right. I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Nothing here. Yeah, Toby. I will, like, check that out. I'm just trying to get a bunch of levels so I can get a nice build and decide what I want to, you know, how I want to do things. Ah. Something floating on the surface. Oil, looks like. Hmm. Can I go in? Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Battle mage? I'm just using, like, Go light something. attacks and few skills. Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. By the way, um, Happen's not a suspect. By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes. Ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters. Spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once, too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Oh my god, this is prison break! <laughs> Let's see what's on the bottom. With green a bit more. I want to do like three for each skill tree. 
Meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen? Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman. Josef Schweik, brewer. And Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Who's that? Margrave Henkel. Who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old Coop's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. So they wanted He's to dead? cover up their name. I've not heard. So not they just... surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Pooped out? Wait, did they... Where do I start? Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Poor guy. That must have hurt. <laughs> Not a vibe. Go to Margrave Henkel's house. Oh boy. They're doing a break in. hovel in a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. Ooh. It doesn't look too bad. Footprints. Could this person have, like, imitated their death or something? I want to light this up. Come on, ignite! Has to be done. Thanks so much for the follow, welcome! Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Silver cylinder. Oh, can I not take it? Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Or I could take it with me as an evidence or something. Making sure to, you know, open up and read everything, see if there's anything like updates and stuff. The last wish. Isn't that a name of a quest or something? Here. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. These are keywords. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions or series. <laughs> we built in you, so you you know which furnishing you would use. Oh, there we go. I was trying to see since I got a note, but I never read it. Yeah, mysterious note. So I have to place this back and 
Is then it's gonna open? Wall? 1245 to 1254. Hmm. <laughs> Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. It really is. I'm glad you guys are having fun. I've been playing a lot of Secret Witcher. Room. The wood. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Ooh. Ah. Have to light this up. I love secret rooms. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped and in everything wine and nice. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstain. Can I light these up? Yes. Just burn everything. Stain. Wyvern oil. Thank you so much for the lurk. Enjoy your dinner. You do. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. I think we explored everything here. I thought what's going on downstairs. Oh boy. This one sounds like a classic. Yeah, it's such a good game. Didn't expect to see you here. What are they doing Certainly here? Not with Triss. Together? I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was. But his costume. Have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Crying. Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was all right. Yeah, medieval clothes are really, really beautiful. You don't trust me? Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Hello, ma'am. His name is, uh, is it Rudovin? Or something, Dijkstra. It's D and J, so Dijkstra or something. But I think he changed his name. So. <laughs> oh, it's Sigmund. Oh my god, he has three names. Okay, just Google Witcher three. Um... Thingy. <laughs> Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because. Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. The matter? Hankel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist, so... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass. What? You no! You don't know he won't beat. Oh, come on. It's not... <laughs> there was no pulling out of any asses. Hmm. All right. I lied. But only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish. But you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. 
I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's it's holding Nilfgaard. my gold for me. With N. <laughs> but it does sound like a Nilfgaard. Welcome back, Ty. Mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. <laughs> and safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement <laughs> overall. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. <laughs> After I, lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress <laughs> who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs. I'm not gonna jump into the abyss for Mary, her. She's a liar. Greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks. Alive. She's not a girl's girl. With my treasure. Thank you so much for gifting us up. Tris and I, that's all in the past. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit at Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First. First love. Now how the hell- <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Oh my god, she's she pisses me off. <laughs> uh what would you have said in my place? Put yourself in my shoes. What would you have said? In your shoes, I wouldn't be worrying about what to say to Dijkstra. At all. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, Thank you for meet the me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right, see you then, and thanks. He's a Triss romance. Oh, Dijkstra likes you and Triss together, like he is shipping you and stuff. It's kind of cute though. <laughs> but I don't like how, like, Triss's voice actress does a really amazing job at making her sound like she's sad. And it's like, that's the annoying part. Like, you didn't, didn't have to disagree. <laughs> I uh, never saw her as a horrible romance for Geralt. Yeah, I, I just, I don't like backstabbing friends, and that's what she did to Yennefer, so it's it's just... Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building, and it does not look good. Mina could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men yeah, everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Ayo. Hey, <laughs> You're <laughs> Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. 
Really want to do this? Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will if she gets and in killed. chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Who cares about Dandelion? He he met uh, Siri, and something happened, and he know where she is. He he knows where she is or where she went. So that's why we need Dandelion, and he's missing. So fine. They went Let's missing say we together. Take the bait. What then? We go in. I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is. Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Why don't you thank you? What about the treasure? What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, yeah. I do. The win-win. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. I did spring. It was stuck in my head. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. <laughs> Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. You have it on, Essie? Seven TV. The hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm still asking one. you to. <laughs> All right. Right. I love how Ger just wind is always following Geralt no matter where he goes even if he's in the building there's just like constant like photo shoot going on just <laughs> what do you want here for my reward on the alpha for a witch recognize who I got it's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Dandelion. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold, for good. Put her in a cell. Now we have to break her out. Uh-oh. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. Hey! I guess we'll have to rip it out. Hmm. Yeah, you might know how to handle witches. When they're brought to you in chains. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> that you're crap witch hunters if a witcher's gotta do your hunting for you. Listen here, mutant. Since we entered this town, we've made ashes of over a hundred mages, alchemists, dopplers, and other. Alchemists women. too? What so did they do? They just mix things. Us how to do our jobs, got it? I can lead you to Philippa. Actually, think I could tell you a thing or two. It's not just Marigold. I've also tracked down Philippa Eilhart. I'll get you for this, you- Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Don't talk to her that way. Why not? She's a whore, isn't she? Hey! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> M 
may be, but for now she's my whore. Yeah, you I hear that? You can't insult her. Funny you feel that way, but so be it. Now, Philippa, talk. Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Real well, then you be like sure that. to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. <laughs> oh boy. You can learn a great deal when you're gripping a pair of pincers or white hot tongues. <laughs> Heathen. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get. You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. Ooh. That ought to get you singing. Ooh. But no torturing. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menga will give you your coin, and Merigold will get what she deserves. Oh my god, wait. I, I feel- I hope this is not going to make them mad. Like, ooh, you fucking witcher, what, you witching? I don't know, because I, I don't think I have- do I have an AoE persuasion? Does this work on one person or few of them? Because if I persuade one person, then the other ones are gonna get mad. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Roll for check. Okay. No, you know what? I'm I don't want to risk this. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers Because others are gonna see be that I like they don't like witchy stuff, so if I will do my witchy things and do this, they will get mad. Hi Ellie, welcome. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Isleheart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. No, I'm good. You can torture Triss, I won't allow it. I mean, this isn't yellow, but I don't know if... I hope they will not get mad if I say this, and then, like, I'm gonna knock over the drink and, like, start fighting them. Um, not in the mood. Not in the mood. You've two choices, Witcher. Drink or die. Is this a truth potion? Sidarian. 
1261 vintage. Year of the Massacre of Sintra. Ah, stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went home! Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, mm. it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Put silver sword in my back, not enough. Got a silver sword on my back, that not enough? It proves nothing. Dobblers can change their bodies at will, into materials that look and feel like silver as well. Materials that have none of silver's useful properties, naturally. See, you're an expert on Dopplers. I'd expect a witcher of all... things to understand Damn, the value Damn, these Dopplers don't enemy. sound... This good <laughs> in the world. It's like AI. This little piggy had none. Now, let us talk shop. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. Hmm. You seem well informed. So you have to know Triss betrayed me first. Used me as a pawn in the Lodge's game. As I see it, she's getting what she deserves. They are they are good. Okay, that's good then. Because like I can see how Dopplers can do some evil things. Just one more fingernail and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went wee wee wee! Ow! Bitch bit me! Oh, the bitch bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Garrett. Are they, like, trying Perhaps to see my reactions? All. So, <laughs> you know something about Philippa. But I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? I'm looking for this treasure. I'm looking for a treasure with Siggy Ruvens until recently. Well, well. Furthering the cause of the eternal fire on the one end, working for criminals on the other. I work for whoever pays me. Like a whore. Hey! Yes. Just offer a different range of services. Where's the treasure? Secure in a Kaviri bank. Far and safe from you. Far and safe from Ruvin. Got information about Philippa. Thought you might want to buy it. I do, but not at any price. All right, so free Dandelion. <laughs> First you ask about a criminal's treasure. Now you want me to let loose a blaspheming degenerate. And here I add you for a man that is a being of some moral principle. No doubt we're cut from different cloth, but we don't have to agree on everything to make a deal. We need not agree any terms, either. I could simply force you to tell me what you know about Philippa. Doubt that. I really doubt that. Whereas I'm a man of great faith. Guards! In here! Wait! No choice. Uh-oh. Oh man, I should not have asked about the treasure. It was, a uh, okay. It wasn't yellow, so I thought it would be fine. Does not break his like posture or something. Ooh. 
This is the only time the Wyatt dialogue was has consequences, really? Oh man. Like I saw the final one which said that like enough of this masquerade, I will not let you torture her or something. And you know, that was definitely a bad one. But I didn't think that asking him about treasure was a bad one too. I just needed some information and now I feel like Triss got tortured for nothing, which makes me even more sad. Need to get information? It's in the bank. Yeah, I just wish we could get Dandelion too. So you can either ask about the treasure or dandelion, I guess. Gets mad. Hello, Triss. Oh, her hands are bloody. The witch hunters are dead, so that's good. I think that's all of them. That was close. What happened? I thought Menga took the bait. He did, until I asked about the treasure. Geralt, we talked this over. You agreed. Oops. Uh, fine, never mind. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Now I feel like a ding dong. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're reading these words, that means you have solved my puzzle for which you have my congratulations. Or is it correctly? I do not know exactly what you did, Temple Isles. Uh, and he's furious and will. Hunters you skins you alive and burns you at the stake. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, now that he uh, he got the Jesus treasure, he can hire enough men to search every home in the city thrice over. I'm then I'm glad we killed him. Yeah. Your doo doo. Trying to break the line free from clutch is impossible, but knowing our friend we have uh, somehow. Thanks for the hydration and the lurk. Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. No, it's okay. I don't want to load. Is just sewn in the line? just want to go with it. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter from a spy. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Yeah, Draw boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Betty does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration. I mean, now that we help him I'm fully, so sure. he will help us fully. That's good. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. Hmm. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate.
We did kill them though, so it should be fine to just go from the main gate. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Idiom. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. Is she gonna burn it now, or...? Why am I having such a hard time leaving this place? It's so weird. It's not this complicated. You there, Mr. Roven wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will. As soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. No, your gold's in a Kaviri bank. Here's the key to the vault that holds it. <laughs> well, well. Would have earned yourself a medal if I was in a position to bestow it. I mean, having a spy master next to us is a very good thing. That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark, no scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. Again. What? What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. Stop crying. Oh. <laughs> Oops. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlack. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. No need to thank How does me. he know this? Just I should have asked that. Off a debt. I always <laughs> do, you know. Even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Yeah, I'm gonna be done with this, and then we can do side missions. I have neglected um, like side quests and I definitely don't want to do that because when I play RPGs I usually tend to ignore the main mission behind the door best place to hide classic oh I just wait here isn't Witcher supposed to be ugly no he's very handsome Oh, I love this melody. What? Triss? How'd you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? Oh my god, he's None trying other. to make us. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner, lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, hide. Welcome in. Indisposed. 
very indisposed. Uh-oh. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. Hmm. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady or never, but to a witch. <gasps> you can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. Uh -oh. oh my god, she zapped his pee-pee! Had enough? F fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. <laughs> Uh... Tris, stop. First, let him! Please. Don't kill him, dude. So, can I talk? Uh, depends on the question. Pure curiosity. Who do you work for? I won't say. No way. Sure about that? Yes. No matter what you do, witch, that I will never reveal. We're looking for Dandelion. We know Menka captured him. That... That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel! You might have said so from the start. Before you bloody started mucking my mind with magic. I, I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. Get to the point. The dandelion is on Temple Isle, in the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in auction first. <laughs> Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menger's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Um, okay, this is gonna be a silly question. Who is Manga? <laughs> yeah. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us? Not so fast. Geralt. I know. He's seen too much. But why? I told you. Oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah. Either he dies or I wipe his mind. Uh, but, but we uh... strip him of his memory. But, but I helped you. I helped... It's not so bad, I promise. He slay and gave. Poor guy. How are you? Showed your claws today. How do you feel? Base. Cruel. Vile. I could go on. But I need to get out of here. Now. Go home. Bathe. Then drink myself to oblivion. And walk you home? Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. But there is one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, mind coming by later? Menga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Her thing. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island, and he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Bybervelt impersonated the half <laughs> Dudu! Do -do. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Doo-doo cucumber patch. 
Poor guy. Oh! Talk to Priscilla. Oh my god, this is a huge fucking quest. Mitris uh, Marigold in her hideout. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. We could just continue questing and everything uh, with, with the main mission, but I kind of want to do some side stuff right now. Because, again, we have neglected them. So I think for now I will maybe put put this on pause. And we can just do some other stuff. Who is this? Oh, sir. Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You... Are a mutant, a freak, a useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. Why is he spitting on me? <laughs> Lots of piss and buzz. How many people's lives have you saved from Brooksay, from Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question. How many? <laughs> What's their problem? Like, this is what There's I don't understand. About, folks. We are helping Preacher's people. In the mouth. Put all at him and his tail slicks between his legs. Come on, people. Like, witchers were made to potentially just help people defeat, like, werewolves and vampires and stuff. And they keep hating on us. It's so stupid. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. See, you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So? Sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. How do you feel? Feel alright? Hmm. So-so. Why do you ask? I mean, you got your fingers, uh... Been wondering. How's your hand? Your fingers? They'll heal. Listen, it was my idea. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. Maybe to try. That's right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. It could have been a trap. What are you, uh, you afraid of? What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. What in the... who? <laughs> Who's this Ingrid Vagelbud? The Vagelbuds are one of the city's most influential families. Somewhat atypical, the Take women your time. have been in charge for generations. Patricia Vagelbud's the current Mater Familius. Ingrid's her daughter. Know her personally? No, seen her, that's all. And I've heard rumors. She's admired in Novigrad for her business acumen, and adored for the lavish balls she throws at the family estate outside town. Though the balls probably serve her business interests in some way. Hmm. Let me help you. Don't like this at all. We can be her bodyguard. You seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. 
I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Stealing everything from her. Oh. Her house is so cozy. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Wanna talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise- Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. Uh-oh. It's not far. I guess she's gonna be following us from afar, kinda? Was this supposed to happen? Oh, we have to help him fight Thank the bandits. You. Okay. Let's go. And this was not an ambush. What did they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? What is bro wearing? You come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I it just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagelbud. Bagelbud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Bagelbud's valet. I I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the guardsmen. But since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the hunters anyway. Uh, oh, you want me to translate? I'm sleepy in Georgian. Uh, Medzi neba. <laughs> okay, so... I didn't... I mean, alchemy is... Is it considered magic? I mean, you're just creating potions. So I guess the, the people in this world don't like any type of, like, anything <laughs> that's not natural? Is that...? Because, like, alchemy, it's not magic, it's... Look, mixing herbs. How'd Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's. Science uh, bad. It's black uh, magic. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Taint that simple. I love that song. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? Masquerade? We'll not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. Good idea, bad idea. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts. And the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. Ooh. What with the war and all, 
My lady's ordained but 85 deserves this time. Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from Lazare. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. <laughs> I love the way she is. Like, oh, I would love to go to the ball. I would love to see it. Would be great to go. <laughs> Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire. Knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. The guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Hmm. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Buy a new outfit? Uh, buy a wear mask? Okay, yeah. It's probably better to buy an entire outfit to blend in. Hello, oh, ma'am. Certainly took my request to heart. Mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Yes. Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Uh, damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? We can eat a bunch of cake. Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Oh man. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. Those kinds of dresses are so stressful. You just keep doing ages. this all the time. And pray to God. Well, how could he? With that scrawny heart. Hello, Vivian. No use pretending you don't know me. A bunny. Is that oh. any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common... Enough. Oh, the lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Oh my god, fuck and off! <laughs> I'm getting triggered. Who is this clown? 
Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive floor, huh? Come back! What a jackass. My, is he ever sorted? Like yes, my sir. Again. I'm getting old. Bring a shrimp and a trapping. There's a quest inside. Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Oh, he's a mage. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. That's me. Didn't like that guy. Didn't like that guy. Why'd you insist on talking to him? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. What is this blue mask? I know! It doesn't look like an animal or a thing. What is this? Oh my god, it's an eating competition or something? Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Oh, this is Gwent? Not in the mood. <laughs> Not in the mood to win. Gregor, have you seen Durgoff just moments ago? Oh. Apologies, I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. Oh my god, it's him. No worries. Okay, let's not... No worries. I'm not going... Oh my god. Stuttering. Stop it! Like this sucker again. Ain't not been seen around town in some time. So much food! Turn to Joel, finally. Yum 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 yum. Oh. A second chance. <laughs> Good one. I love, he has a. Cemeteries are full of men who thought like old a Joel would give them a second chance. Siggy, I'll be. Geralt, damn it all! How do you recognize me? Your voice, the mask. The mask, dead giveaway. <laughs> Perfect, right? Could take it off and no one would know the difference. <laughs> Hey, Reuven. Look at that. My favorite accomplice. What's this? Taking a day off from saving the world? Well, we've jested and laughed, but I have a sense you're in a hurry. Hey, Ziggy. Really? You know, Geralt, somehow I dislike running into you at parties. My bones start to ache, as if bad weather were approaching. Oh my God, he gets that too. Anyway, speaking of food... Yum 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 yum. Yum 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 yum. The oh. No more. Take another bite. Do you know the children are starving in Valor? Sick clear you look to me. She wore a turkey mask oh, to the last time. Oh, oh, my mother Where says the girl has a singular enemies. sense of humor. To job, if you ask right? me, she's the second chance. <laughs> The girl is the one who broke his. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys told me that we we were the ones who like hurt his Dare leg. You. My husband is supervisor. He's not been seen around town. It's Listen, I'm gonna need this food for adventures, okay? I'm- it, it's for the greater good. I'm saving the world. 
channel check. Your reputation precedes you, Geralt. Geralt? What? Why would a witcher come here? How do they know? What is this? Been to Vizima. The word is it's more like a big sky than capital. Is it my hair? Go in. The one who arrived with a redheaded bitch. Well, well. You called Vagal Bud an old stick in the mud, yet here she's hired a male stripper. But why did he come with a woman? Perhaps she hands him his props. But stop staring, or I shall call the guards. The gossiping. The fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Here's giveaway. Oh, okay, okay. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. This dress is holding on to its life. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight. But if you trust this man... Like no one else. Any sign of hunters? Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the temple guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the guardsmen learn about your son's interest yeah, she's to very begin with? Oh, unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other majors. <laughs> Let's go find him. <laughs> I shall await word from you. <laughs> Let's look for Albert. Baths are in Silverton. I highly recommend you visit. Uh, Apparently, they have this contraption with the passiflora. It is an offense to nature. Does the temple guard know He's wearing panther is? mask. And then a colossal boom. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. That's oh, that's night. yeah, that's him. Yes. I think. Nice mask. Nice mask. Rawr. <laughs> Albert Vagelbud. No. <laughs> I am a black panther. <laughs> oh my count. Uh... Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. I'm surprised he did not say mom, like with a U. Because I think that's what UKans call their mom. My mom. Yes, when can we leave the estate? 
Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Mama? Besides, there'll be fireworks later. A jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting Holy. for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. I could Hope use... hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. I could use a nice rosé. I have not had a... Oh my god. I have not had a drink for four months, maybe. Rosé is nice. He's American, so he says, "Well." Those were the days. Care to sit down for a spell? Sure. Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about? Yes. About that mage we met earlier? Oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How do you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and... just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. Seemed just like the type. Oh, really? At the time, to me, he seemed sweet. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. Hmm, you're charismatic, uh, personal charm. They don't. <laughs> okay, let's not. You know. You're a charismatic leader. Simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. Of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. Gerald! You mean. <laughs> Before marriage? He's been looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, biag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze. Oh no, she's really quest. drunk. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely. Entirely what? Nude. <laughs> Come on, Geralt. Triss, wait. Geralt. Coming? It's gonna be a maze run. Well, well, well. Gerald, yes. coming? Her lip shape is really pretty. It reminds me of Avril Lavigne. It's this like really pretty. <laughs> Careful. Oh god. Oh.
Miss Merigold, at last. So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll Awkward, I know. Will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good, meet you there. <laughs> she sobered up quickly. And she's very beautiful, but um... I'm not gonna cheat on my queen, so... Uh oh. Albert, there you are, my love. Here you are. So, about this private showing. Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I. Ooh. Okay, it's good that we switch masks. Albert Vagelbrun. No. Please step away, miss. Nobility's not towards young count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. <laughs> Doubt it. Oh, they are. Ben, I didn't know that. Wait, is she also like is she sleeping with other men? I cannot believe this. I thought I could trust women. <laughs> they are all the same. She does. Well, <sighs> I guess I'll be I'll be single then. <gasps> if that's the case. Set them on fire. I can't dodge in this tiny area. You'll be spitting teeth. Only time she cares if you bang a trip. Really? Okay. I mean, I can see why they were friends and stuff. And it, you know, it's a big time like betrayal. So I, I can see why she wouldn't have liked that. I can't heal during combat? I mean, if that's the type of relationship that Geralt and Yennefer have, then I guess that's that's what I'm gonna respect. Because <laughs> I thought she was loyal to me. You get super dizzy from Witcher senses and the camera movements, even though I have the game. Uh, that's so weird, Nils. Have you tried turning on the turning down the sensitivity or something? Hmm. Oh, I've begun to worry. This lady kind of sounds like Jennifer Hale. I'm not sure if it's her, but I think I heard her a few times. Ran into some trouble. Hunters? Will they come here? No, we've got some time. But please send someone to the garden. Needs a little tidying. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. I think they added a bunch of accessibility stuff after Everything the said. like yes. graphical update. Got your swords back from the guard. But I'm and not sure. gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. That I could help. So where are we going? Excellent. So where are we going to get away to? You? Nowhere. What happened at the fountain? 
I'm sorry. I acted irresponsibly. It was the wine. <laughs> Too strong. No need to apologize. It was nothing. Yes. Nothing. Oh my god, why is she acting like this? <laughs> Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. Happy eyes constantly. I don't know. Like, she did something wrong. She lied to us and to her best friend. I don't know what she was expecting. Out, out, pull. Well, you wanted braids. But I didn't want my hair pulled. Without the other. Then I don't want them. Thanks for the posture check. <laughs> Who is this? Witcher? Witcher? Oh, it's that lady. Green, look who's come. She just lives here huh. now? Live here together now? Didn't know. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares, I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him. Or her. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why, but we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. Oh, that's a nice sentiment. I like that. Yes. I like that. Boom! Scare you! I prefer that to the regular cinematics sometimes. What was that about? What's become of me in me elder years? Refused a roof over me head by a common churl. I was born a noble's daughter. My brother and I, we managed the manor for years. And what happened to him? A caller came one day. A drifter, a hunter. It wasn't long before we fell in love and wed. We prepared to leave the manor. My brother, he took offence, refused to bid me farewell. Years on I returned, but found no sign of him. Folk claimed monsters had infested our home. Come to nest there. I do enjoy my stay here. <laughs> enjoy emotes, thank you so much. I could take care of those Thanks monsters for you. Thanks for being here. You. Mm. You're a witcher, right? You're a witcher. No ordinary man would be so eager. Don't fret. It's all the same to me, provided you're honest. The house is east of here. Take this key. Once you've driven off the beasts, look for a chest. My treasure. Savings, really. They're yours. What'll that leave you with? A roof over my head is all I need. And if it comes to it, I've other heirlooms to sell. But I know you witchers don't work for free. I could never let you go without honest pay. Gods keep you. Um, okay. Family Manor, is it far? No, no, it's fine. Okay, let's go here and then we can go up. Great. Mm, manor's got a few more tenants. <laughs> Ow. Well, these guys are so annoying because they chain their uh, attacks with the lantern. What's the point of blocking if I can't actually block anything? Is it just to parry? Because, like, if I block, the game is just stunning me.
Do you say combo is not a joke? Yeah. A journal. A little wear and tear. Someone's journal. Wouldn't weigh heavier and heavier upon me. I love my brother, and I'm glad he didn't sell the estate. When, after my parents died, by the time I dreamed that it would like to live somewhere else with other people. We have a guest. He's the sign of lore somewhere near. Finally, something is happening. The time has come to admit it. I love uh, Roderick. I guess, like, after maybe a month? I assume? I don't know. Kills me too. About Roger and me, he flew in rage. He said that he matches was out of the question. We can convince him otherwise. I shall not abandon the love of my life for him. I will run away with him. Damn. Maybe this guy just wanted the estate. It's primarily for humans and not humanoids. Oh, yeah, that's why it felt so punishing then. Return to Dolores. So quick? What about exploration? wonder what door this opens. It's actually nice that you can continue exploring, but the quest itself tells you to go back. But clearly, that's not <laughs> what we're gonna do. Like twins, old woman's brother. Must be. We got a key to a barn. Wait, I want to know something. I think I have the fisheye. Yeah, I actually have it disabled. I didn't even notice. Oh, yeah, I can see. I can see why people are getting a headache. I also... <laughs> I also clearly disabled it at some point. I don't like these kinds of effects. Um, motion blur. Uh, depth of field. Like lens flare, a shy, it's a bit much. Screen shake. I also don't like screen shake. <laughs> Reading glasses. Are the best for people who on console suck with 30 FPS? Does it give you like a smoother performance or something? The the motion blur. Hmm. I mean, this is clearly a barn. <laughs> Somebody lived here once. Dolores. Is that what it says? That's a lot of letters for Dolores. Hmm, something here. A chest. Money? <laughs> My money now. Not much over 60. Have I been here? I think that's it. Did 
There should be... There we go. Dolores. Let's see what she has to say. This be the witch fellow like you's got to be experienced. Will you fight Stanfish Gulper? Oh, this, okay. This is one of those, um, like, fist fights. I don't want to do this. Where is Dolores? Is she in a tavern? <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, okay. You've returned. What's become of my home? Safe now. It's safe now. I thank you. This means so much. And perchance did you find my chest? With my treasures? Yeah, pretty generous as rewards go. You've earned every last bit. Time I was on my way. Gods guide you. 